Hello guys, welcome once again. Last time I have shown you how to link a list box with your database and show the database value into this list box. Today I am going to show you how to show the corresponding value of your database when you click something like for example you will click John here the corresponding values of John that is employee ID 1 first name John last name Bell and age 27 should appear here just like we have done in the case of combo box so when we select a name the corresponding value will come into your text fields so I want to do the same with my list box also so let's see for for that what we have to do so go to your design select your list box and when you double click it you will go to the method or the pro or function of that list box selected index change event and in here you need to write a connection first so I am just going to the combo box selected index change method which I have shown you in the video number 13 and I will just copy all this code from there which is inside that function and paste it into my list box one selected index change so if you don't know this code just follow the video number 13 and you will know how to do this so I'm just grabbing my code from video number 13 and just pasting it inside the list box selected in this change and then once again I will go to my design form and I will just select list box and in the property I will just copy the name of my list box which is list box 1 and once again I will go to my source of list box 1 selected index and in the case of combo box I have made a variable called combo value which takes the value from the combo box into the string so in this case I will I'm taking the value from the list box so I will replace this combo box 1 by list box 1 and I will change this variable name also list box value and I will copy this string variable and paste it here select from your database dot table where name is equal to this variable name this code which I have shown in the 13th video how to take the value from the list box take the value from the combo box and show into the text boxes so we are not done yet because I will show you what is the problem so you can see that when you click this thing nothing is appearing here because we need to select only one column from here so right now what it's doing is it's selecting whole text one comma John comma this into your variable 
this one list box value and we don't want that we only want the name to come into this list box value variable so what we do is we will go to our fill combo method which I have shown a you in the 12th video and in the last video I have shown you how to populate it so in this line list box arrow pointer item arrow pointer add you need to delete all the things from here except for the name variable so it will only populate name into your list box so only this variable we are taking into consideration which is taking the name column and placing in it into your name variable which we are populating in our list box so I think this will work now and let's see if our program is working or not so to enter the password yes and now only the names are showing from the database which is this John John Jack Jill so it's the same names here and here and when you click some name here corresponding value will come here so you can check these value also one John Bell 27 one John Bell 27 you can select some other name and it will come corresponding values will come into your text box so in this way you can transfer your database value corresponding to the list box index selected so I hope you have learned something new this time please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now